All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the CG Sit Down uh, with your hosts, Lane Hebert and Andrew Preeb. Uh, Today, we are joined by two special guests since one of the hosts couldn't make it. Uh, We have Tyler Rummel and Tyson Struber with us today. Uh, How are you guys doing today? I'm doing pretty good. How about yourself? Doing pretty good, too. How about you, Tyson? Doing, Doing pretty good as well. Glad to be here. All right. Glad to have you. So... Today we're probably going to start off uh, talking about some sports and then uh, see where it takes us. So, We would like to thank the generous sponsors of the CG Media Department. First is HCI. For all your cable, phone, and internet needs, go see our friends at HCI at 211 South Main Street, Galva, Kansas. Again, thank you for your generous support. Next is Canton Lockers. Go see Gentleman Joe at Canton Lockers, located at 131 North Main Street, Canton, Kansas. Also, the State Bank of Canton, your hometown bank for over 125 years. Thank you, State Bank of Canton. Next, we'd like to thank Tony Weedle at Ag360 for his support of the media department. Ag360 for all your insurance needs from farm, home, and even life insurance. Thank you to all our sponsors. So uh, what sports have you guys been playing this year? Um, I've played uh, fo- football and uh, basketball so far this year. I'm planning on running track and doing powerlifting also. Yeah, I've uh, only done football so far this year, and uh, I'm planning to do track in the springtime and powerlifting as well. Okay, and has that consistently been the sports you've guys done, or have you changed it up a bit in your careers? Yeah, I've done it all three years so far, and I plan on doing it in my senior year too. Yeah. Yeah, I've done football and track the last three years, but I gave up basketball last year. Mm. So. Okay. I see. Um, so, what uh, if you guys had to pick a sport, which one would you think is your favorite? Football. Yeah. Definitely football. Mm-hmm. Which I can definitely see that. You guys definitely have a good thing going there with football. So. All right. Uh, so, do you guys plan on uh, doing any sports after high school, like in college or anything? or? Uh, yeah, I actually just committed to K-State. I plan on playing uh, football there. I heard about that. Yeah. Congratulations on that. Thank you. Hey, did you hear about uh, Tyler Lockett's little brother signing there? Yeah, Ster- receiver? Sterling Lockett. Do you know anything about him? Um, I haven't watched very much film on him, but, I mean, he comes from a you know a legacy family. So right. Yeah. It's kind of cool saying that he committed there, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I don't really have anything planned for sports-wise after school, so. Yeah. Um, obviously, there's been a lot of restrictions and stuff this year on anything from games to actual school with COVID happening. And um, You guys have any thoughts on that, or what do you think about the whole situation? Um, I mean, sure, it can get a little bit annoying with the mask, but I feel like everything's kind of, like, relaxed as far as, you know, the teachers aren't getting on to people about little things. They're yeah. kind of letting some things slide, but... I mean, it's just something you got to deal with. And I think we all kind of just have learned to accept it. So yeah, you kind of forget about it sometimes. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it kind of sucks sometimes having to wear masks all the time and stuff. But we've all gotten used to it by now anymore, so it's not that bad. Yeah, it's just kind of like an everyday thing now. Mm-hmm. We don't even really think about it anymore. So do you guys think COVID's going to last all the way through college? Or how do you think that's going to go? Um, I definitely feel like it's still going to we're still gonna have some sort of restrictions or like mass protocols yeah. for like maybe a year or two more but um i already know that like in terms of sports like in college i know they're just keeping their athletes up there as much as possible mm-hmm. but i definitely do feel like once you know this whole vaccine thing yeah. is getting out there that some a lot of stuff's gonna get like uplifted yeah there's gonna be more freedom yeah as long as the vaccine's proven to work good and yeah. not kill too many people and yeah. i think there's been quite a few people that have gotten it so far and mm. haven't heard any bad things yet but honestly i'm sure there's some things that aren't ever going to go back to normal i mean yeah some of the guidelines that we follow right now i'm sure it's probably not a bad thing to keep following those but yeah it's definitely gonna take a while like a long time to go back to normal yeah it's everything. definitely gonna be a couple year process mm, in the yeah. coming yeah it'll be a while but yeah I feel like we'll definitely make it through so you guys are new to the podcast team actually we recently expanded from just the three hosts to almost doubled the team and um how's that been going so far do you guys like it yeah it's really cool over here i really like it yeah yeah it's been been a pretty good time so far and it's definitely i bet it's good on your guys' part oh, yeah. man, that you got get some people, help yeah mm-hmm. it eases help. up the work yeah. a little bit and which is definitely nice but some editors and yeah. yeah yeah it's crazy just over a break 
we have expanded so much with everything gotten so much new gear and stuff and it's definitely cool that the schools allowing us to do this still but yeah. i mean this was just a stupid idea that me lane and clay had in the summer yeah and then it turned into something pretty dang cool yeah and i definitely think uh now that we have a producer in the background uh white collins, oh, wyatt collins back there yeah. that it's definitely helped too kind of keeps an eye on everything and runs the cameras does a great job yeah does pretty good back there but sometimes yeah, yeah sometimes perform. so have you guys heard about like the senior trip i know tyson isn't going on it since he's a junior this year but yeah, yeah i'm gonna be honest i don't even i haven't heard anything about it yeah so basically we were planning on going to branson and going to silver dollar city and stuff but they put more restrictions on down there and when we're actually approved to go on the trip i think silver dollar dollar city is closed yeah they are oh so we've got three choices so we can either go to so we can go to branson on the time we're scheduled to and not go to silver dollar city or go when they are open but only stay in branson for like a half a day yeah it'd be like back. a half day trip because they no, open. that would be lame yeah i right. think it opens like the weekend after or something mm -hmm. i think they're only open weekends yeah i might be wrong but i'm pretty sure that's what it is or we can have a gambling night at the school where we're giving fake money to um it's like a casino thing where we gamble it and then however much fake money we end up with we can use to get prizes which yeah I mean, which i it's mean it's not a terrible idea but it's kind of like an after prom idea almost where you, yeah they said I, I would definitely take that as an after prom idea yeah because right, i feel like a lot of trip. us have put in too much time and money to just kind of throw our senior trip away like this yeah like, right. i feel bad for the seniors and last year not being able to do anything yeah with all they, the money they got yeah that's true they said with that third option like if we did something like that the gifts would be like stuff for moving out on our own like after high school yeah so they'd be like but blenders and yeah. stuff like that but also this i think they said we'd still have enough money left over to be able to go like do something in wichita for a day or something but Generally. i don't know that's kind of not very good options but I you have to it's you know, choose something unless we if we want to actually do something but i mean it is what it is, I guess, with that. Not much we can do to change it. So, right. so did you guys, uh, like, pick up any new hobbies or anything down on quarantine and break? Uh, yeah, I played a lot of video games, probably over 12 hours of Minecraft and uh, Call of Duty combined. Dude, honestly, same. Me and Clay just went off yeah, on Minecraft. Just sit Dude, down yeah. There. Yeah, we spent, like, a week in on that. party chat, sit, talking with your friends and seeing. Yeah. Got five hours passed by and it goes by pretty quick. I realize no. that homework to turn in. Right, I swear, as soon as you sit down and play a video game, and then when you finish, it's dark. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Did you end up getting a PS5? Yeah, I got one. Anybody else get PS5 yet? No, nah, not yet. They're pretty Xbox, hard to get. Yeah. Tell you what, if you can find it at store price, it is well worth it. But do not spend a thousand dollars on eBay for one. Yeah, there's not people not that were it. yeah reselling people had it. bots going out and they were buying them by like the thousands and reselling yeah. them on apps and stuff absolutely like insane that's crazy what about you andrew did you pick up any new hobbies or anything? um uh, me and keaton did a lot of bowling because the alley in hutchinson was open and they did a deal over uh, the spring break time which was when quarantine started and that deal was uh, twelve dollars for unlimited bowling for a day. So okay. me and him went and we bowl upwards twenty five games. But uh, anyway, so I got pretty good at that. Um, worked on a little bit of disc golf and some regular golf. I got to the point where I'm almost done golfing. I'm just so bad at it. But disc golf is a pretty fun game to play. Yeah. And then just like Tyson, not with Minecraft, but a lot and a lot of video games. Yeah. Like I probably played the most two K in my life that I've ever have. <laughs> I don't like honestly over break. I just worked more. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I'm, up my Walmart I'm in lane shoes too. I did a lot of working and dude, it's crazy how much more money I made. Oh break. yeah, like it's insane. Able to work to being able to week. yeah, being yeah. able to work full time, you can make yeah. a lot more money, especially, especially nice. staying at home and not having to pay bills or anything like that much. So yeah. So uh, Tyson, how's basketball going so far? Um, start of the season, you know, we had a lot of stuff to figure out. We were just a bunch of football players playing basketball. So yeah. I mean, we had the athleticism. We just, you know, kind of hit shots and mm -hmm. were moving right. But after this uh, Christmas break, New Year break, uh, we kind of got things together, and you know, we just won last night against Illyria. That's pretty good. That's a huge, solid yeah, win. That solid was, win. That was a, that was a good job, win. boys. Uh, that was the first yeah. time I've beaten Illyria since being I know, in high school. Yeah, I know they, they've always seemed to be pretty good. Yeah, and they were a pretty good team. And yeah. It was kind of the first time I saw our coach, Larry O'Connor, get hyped for us. Yeah. No, that that gets you pumped. That does, when, it's, uh, Collins, I was talking about this last hour, Collins hit an and one, 
And then Coach O gets out of his seat, he does like a huge fist pump, and he screams, and he just has the biggest voice crack I've ever heard. Mm -hmm. And he was just like, he is one of the most enthusiastic people on the bench, and he's the coach. And it's just, mm -hmm. it gets you going, dude. How was it, like, transitioning with the new coach? Um, it was definitely a little challenge at first. Mm -hmm. You know, they're they got two different play styles you know, yeah this year we're playing really up tempo you know all the time around the court and we're playing a lot of guys you know we got maybe 15 10 15 deep bench yeah we got five people coming in five people coming out so that's 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 a lot of fun mm -hmm. you know just knowing you go out there play your hardest and you'll get subbed out get a break and go back in so yeah i'm sure that's nice you can actually get breaks every now and then mm -hmm. not playing the same people the whole game and yeah i remember last year I was the seventh man on the bench, so I was the second man coming off, and I would still rarely get in the games. We were in a six-man rotation yeah. last year, really? and now we run upwards to 12. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's just the difference is crazy in how deep our bench is this year. Which, I mean, I'm sure it definitely helps when you guys get more breaks. You can play harder. You can right. go back yeah. in and yeah. have a little more energy each time. But You need to have a deep bench to play his coach's style because yeah. you cannot play a full game going as fast as he wants you to. Yeah, so I can guys, play about three minutes of that speed and then I'm done. You guys three and three now? Or is I have no clue. Um, I, I think, think it's we're on three and two. Three and two? Yeah. No, nice. I thought we played six games. Let's see. Hmm. We Let's beat see. Illyria, beat and Little Vista. And Burton. And Burton. And then we played Little River and Lincoln. And you guys, yeah, you guys didn't play Lincoln. Lions. There's Little River Lions. Lions. Wait. We're uh, we're three and two. Mm. Um, we have beaten uh, Rovista, Burton, and Illyria. Lost to Lions and Little River. They're those are some good teams right there. Little yeah. River's no first in the state. So. Yeah, they're always pretty athletic. And yeah. Um. So, you guys got quarantined, and who were you guys supposed to play when you, over that? Solomon. Solomon. Do you think? How do you think that would have gone? Um, um, well, Illyria, didn't they blow out Solomon? They beat him by, like, I think 20 or 30. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I'm so. not saying we'd do that to him, but I think we you probably So, could. according to score matching, you think you guys got him, right? Score matching, yeah. Yeah. But I mean, anything could happen. Yeah, they yeah. might have just been off. I think Larry did say that they were just missing. They kind of hit it. I think they went over 24. Yeah, they went oh, over man. 24. That's right. That's not going to happen every game, so yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. you never know. Which, I mean, everybody has a game like that, I'm sure, but. Right. Yeah. I mean, you never know until you play them. So. Exactly. Yeah, I guess. When's that? Do you know when we're supposed to play me? Um, now? I don't know because I know we play Gossel this Friday. Yeah. And then we have the tournament next week, so I think it's after the tournament. Okay. So, How's Gossel looking this year for basketball? Um, I guess they're, I mean, just same old, really disciplined Gossel. Yeah, I mean, great rebounders. Great, they always get the boards. Great mm -hmm. rebounders is what we've been told. So, I mean, Coach O says they play hard. Yeah. It'll, yeah. it'll be a challenge, like always. Yeah. So, since you're not in the sport right now, what do you do in your free time besides work? Oh, I usually try to get the old dirt bike out and ride it as much as I can. With uh, the KMCS series coming up soon, I'm planning to hit all of those races and hopefully move from C-class up to B-class in the 250s. So, Where's your favorite place to go just to ride? Right around here, we've got a couple good tracks. We've got Inman, Marion, and Jeeps, but so far, my all-time favorite's probably got to be Marion. Yeah. It's a pretty good track, and we know the guy that runs it, and he's really cool. So Okay. Who's nope. your guys you go with? Oh, there's a couple guys here at the school that like to come around and ride with us. And there's Land and Stefan and Brandon Huff. Keaton Litchell used to come ride with us, but I think he's kind of getting out of it. So Yeah, I think he – did he trade his dirt bike? Yeah, I think he did. What did he end up trading it for? Oh, uh, I think he traded it for a new gun or something. Oh, yeah, that was it. Yeah. Forgot about but, that. Yeah. How long have you been riding dirt bikes? Yeah. Oh, I've been riding dirt bikes since – real little i was six years old when i got my first one and yeah. just trying to ride every, as much as i can every weekend yeah. so i know as long as i've known you you've been riding them that's yeah. been quite a while so i know that during football season coaches don't like you guys riding dirt bikes so i bet as soon as football ends you guys are out on the track that weekend yeah it's pretty tough during football to try and keep up with your dirt bike athleticism because unlike other sports it's a lot it's a lot. You got to prep all your muscles because a sport like that works muscles you didn't even know you had. Yeah, I'm sure. And yeah, as soon as football got out, just try to hit the track every weekend to rebuild your stamina and stuff for riding because mm -hmm. three months off can be pretty tough. So, how many races are in this series that you were talking about? Oh, there's uh, the KMCS series has uh, about eight or nine races throughout the year. Yeah. And it's all kind of local tracks around here. 
there's some out in Great Bend and then some out in Topeka and then everything kind of in the middle. Yeah. Huh. And does any of the other guys around here go to, or is that usually just something you do by yourself? No, uh, I think there might be a couple guys. I think Landon Stefan and Brandon Huff might try to come out and hit a couple races with us yeah. this year. So. All right. All right, guys. Well, I think that brings it to a close. It's been a pleasure having you. Um, hopefully, we could have you again sometime. So. Yeah, yeah it was awesome. On. Pleasure being yeah. here. It's a blast. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we'll see you later. Thank you for watching. Thank you. See you. See ya.